Hello everyone. In this session, I will be speaking about the advanced BP shunt systems available in India. So if you are watching this video, probably you are one of your known person who has been suffering from hydrocephalus and you are contemplating a BP shunt surgery for the treatment of hydrocephalus. So if you want to know which is the best shunt system for you, watch this video until the end. There are numerous, there are n number of shunt systems available. But in India, this video I'm specifically concentrating from India because the number of popular shunt systems available in India are limited. So I'm focusing this video for patients from India. So when you are an Indian and you are contemplating a shunt surgery, uh, this video will guide you to understand what are the shunt systems available. And in coordination with your own treating neurosurgeon, you can make a decision as to which shunt system is best for you. Okay, let me share some video. Before I tell you what are the shunt systems available, you should try to understand what, are the, what is a shunt and what are the complications. So we have different kinds of shunt systems to counter when these complications. So see this image, I've searched on Google for a VP shunt. So this is the diagram where you can show a VP shunt. Follow my cursor, follow my arrow. This is the VP shunt. And as you can see over here, sorry. So this, to gray color tube, which is placed from the brain into the peritoneal cavity is the VP shunt. So one of the most common complication of a VP shunt is shunt over drainage and shunt block. Shunt block is a common complication and the incidence of shunt blockade is common with all the varieties of the shunt. So second one is over drainage of the BP shunt. What is over drainage? Why is the shunt placed? Whenever there is some obstruction to the CSF flow in the brain and there is accumulation of excessive CSF in the brain, we place a tube to bypass this obstruction so that this excess fluid from the brain goes into the abdomen. So the shunt systems are designed in such a way that it lets the fluid from the brain to go into the peritoneal cavity only when the fluid is excess. That is, brain should have some optimum amount of fluid present within, within itself. Sometimes what happens is the shunt over drains. That is, even when the CSF, the fluid within the brain is not excessive, the fluid tends to drain into the peritoneal cavity. So this is known as over drainage. So to prevent this over drainage, we have two systems available in the Indian market. One kind of systems are known as the programmable shunt. Second kind of systems are known as the anti-siphon device. What are they? Programmable shunt. Let me type in the search programmable shunt. Let me show you what is a programmable shunt. Yeah, all these are programmable shunt. So how does a programmable shunt? This is a most common, this, this is known as a Hakim Val. Two kinds of programmable shunt are available in India. One is a Corman Hakim programmable valve. Second one is a Medtronic valve. These are the two valves which are available in India. So what is the role of this valve? So the commonly, these are known as the programmable valve. Most commonly put valves are known as the non-programmable valve or a fixed pressure valve. So what is a fixed pressure valve? In majority of the population, the intracranial pressure is within an RO range. So these fixed pressure valves ensure that our intracranial pressure is within this narrow range. 
So this works by the majority of the patients and the shunts drain appropriately at this fixed range. But for some patients due to unknown reasons or sometimes due to known reasons, the pressure within the brain, normal pressure within the brain is outside this normal range. Either the pre normal pressure which that particular patient's brain can withstand is either lower or higher than this normal pressure. So either they overdrain or underdrain at this fixed pressure. So what happens? For if you put a fixed pressure shunt in these patients, if, if, the, if the shunt overdrains or the underdrains, you will have to revise the shunt. You will have to redo the shunt. You will have to place the shunt with a higher pressure or the lower pressure. To circumvent this one, we have a programmable shunt. What is a programmable shunt? This is the Kornman uh, programmable one. So this valve is programmable. What is programmable? I will show. You. Let's see this picture. Can you see this one? Can you can you see this valve? No, I will I will look for a better picture. Yeah, this is a better picture. So this is the valve extra of the valve after implantation. This is the pressure within the valve. You can see the pressures within the valve can be set at 30 mm of mercury, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 to 200. So you can pinpoint the pressure. You can adjust the pressure. You can adjust the pressure without any surgery and the adjustment of pressure hardly takes five minutes. So if the shunt is overdraining, we increase the pressure higher up. If the shunt is under draining, we decrease the pressure lower down. Let me show one video which is done. You will understand how the pressure is adjusted. So this, uh, this video I picked up from the YouTube. See, this is a patient where the pressure is being adjusted. This, uh, what the doctor is holding is a device which is present in my hand. I am putting this device over the valve and this is external machine and the pressure adjustment is done. That's all. This is the machine. This is just like a Bluetooth. Let me replay it. I just keep this Bluetooth over that device, over the shunt. In my OPD, I put the adjustments switch on the machine, the shunt is adjusted. That's all. So that's all. The pressure adjustment is as simple as that. So this ensures me to prevent over drainage or under drainage in at least 95% of the patients. Okay. What about the remaining 5%? As, we, as I've shown in the picture, the shunt can be adjusted in increments of 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, not in between. Sometimes the gravity comes into picture. When I adjust the pressure, is fine. But as soon as it starts walking or it starts sleeping from sitting position, the gravity comes into action. This changes the pressure within the shunt system, within the brain. So when the patient sits, it tends to overdrain. When the patient sleeps, it, te it tends to drain normally or under drain. So if the patient, if I feel, or if the patient's gravity is changing the amount of flow within the shunt, then I use a device which is known as anti-siphon device. As the name implies, this prevents, this neutralizes the effect of gravity. The, so this device is put in those patients where there's wide fluctuation with CSF flow because of gravity. So basically there are three kinds of shun. One is a fixed pressure shun, which I do in majority of the patient because it's cost economical. It's very cheaper. Particularly in India, the cost of a fixed pressure shunt is less than 10,000. So it comes to be very cheaper and economical and it works really well in 90% of the patients. And remaining patients have either used a programmable shunt 
or a program emulsion with an anti siphon device so this will help me prevent the over drainage and under drainage and also prevent the counteract the effects of gravity second most complication of a shunt surgery is infection we have a kind of shunt which is known as bacticel which is bacterial impregnated shunt so this decreases the incidence of sh shunt infections a by some extent but it doesn't mean that it completely neutralizes the shunt infection so but it's costly so if the patient is affordable i would put a bacticel which is bacterial impregnated shunt because it adds on to the cost but doesn't cause any side effects so if the patient is not affordable i would definitely use a normal shunt so probably after seeing this video you will understand that uh, the three common kinds of shunt systems available in india and you will discuss with your neurosurgeon regarding the shunt system which you want and if you want to contact me for any other queries contact on the whatsapp number which is given below which is present on the thumbnail do subscribe for my channel thank you